This topic is divided in four parts. First, HTML. Second, CSS. Third, JavaScript. And last will be the mini project. Ever wondered why website development has become a necessity for any organization to prosper? Well, there are many reasons for that. Most important being approachable. With all the gadgets that we are surrounded in our day-to-day -day lives, it is very easier for us to reach our customers if we have a website. So here at ACAD Guild, we welcome you all to this small introductory session on how you can create websites. For creating websites, the agenda for this session will be HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We'll take you a walk through the HTML history, basics, structure, what is hyperlinking, the tags used, CSS overview and styling the content, JavaScript overview functions, DOM, event handling, and lastly, we will end the session by creating a small mini project using all the concepts that we have learned in this session. Now, for any website that you need to create, you need three things at the core. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML helps you with placing your content on the website. You do this using a markup language. CSS assists you in presenting your website. So all the content that you have placed using HTML, you will be able to decorate your page and make it presentable for the users. Lastly, you would need to have interaction with the users and add dynamism to your web pages. For that, you have a programming language called as JavaScript. So let's begin this small session with learning how we can create web pages using first HTML. Now HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Language as it is used for communication. Text because whatever content you placed on a web page is textual. Markup because that's the way you can create HTML pages. Hyper because using hyperlinks is how your HTML page will be able to respond to the request made by your users. Now since HTML pages are displayed by a web browser, they are interpreted and they are not compiled. They have documents that describe what are HTML tags and all these documentations are done by the W3C specification. And the recent version that is in the market is HTML5. So let's begin with how you can create an HTML page. An HTML page consists of header and a body. Header provides all the information that is the title of your web page, maybe the author of the web page. You can provide some descriptive information about your web page. You can also provide linking to the external files that is being used by that web page. Body is a place where you actually place all your content that users views and starts interacting with your website. Every HTML document starts with an HTML as a root tag. Inside the head tag, you can have the title and the body consists of all the content that you want to display. So there are various list of tags available in HTML, few being paragraphs, headings, anchor link for creating hyperlinks, to embed images, to make your text highlighted, bold, to create sections on your web pages, you have div. And if you, in case you want to create list of items, you can use ULLI tags. So with this basic understanding, let's go on and create a simple web page. Now, I'm using brackets. It's up to you what editor you want to use. It can be of your choice. Brackets, Atom, Sublime Text, Eclipse, Microsoft Visual Studio, anything which you are comfortable. So the first line that starts in an HTML page is you declare the type of the document. 
next you have the HTML opening and the closing tag now let me save this file the file is saved with an extension dot HTML the moment you do this you have a tag called as head again it's a paired tag inside the head you can have title so maybe say I'll say website tutorials then in the HTML you have the body tag inside the body I can have heading so maybe say welcome to a cat guild I can have a paragraph stating this session introduces you to website development using HTML now if I want to highlight this HTML I can use the bold tags okay then if you want to have image embedded I can have the image I already have an image over here so I'll just reuse that maybe list of items I'll just copy paste this part of code maybe HTML CSS and I'll say JavaScript okay you want to create hyperlinks so you can do that as well so maybe I'll say new and let me just copy paste this code over here and here I'll just remove these and I'll just say welcome and I save it as welcome.html now in my hello.html let me create an anchor link and I'll say welcome.html and I'll say click here now once you do this you can run your project now once you run if everything works fine you will see hello.html now if you just make a small comparison you can see doc type title is over here title is over here you can see heading it's already highlighted and the size is different paragraph and you can see the text is bold image list of items anchor link you click here and you go to a next page so this is how you can create a simple web page using HTML markup tags in the next video we will see how we can add styles to the web pages using CSS A cat killed. Average is dead.